way the exhaust comes out of the chrome bumpers. I don't know why that's so cool to me. It just is. <laughs> it's fun to see him see this stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you look at it on the computer and it's like, oh yeah, that's pretty. Then you see it first and you're like, holy oh, crap. Yeah, that's a lot of work on that car. <laughs> it looks gorgeous. On the morning that's my father's rebuild. Horn rebuild. Yeah. <laughs> he was hollering the other day, we didn't show him the motor. Looks pretty good from here. He's got two. He's got another motor over here, waiting, waiting for it, just in case he should need a spare. It's always good to have a backup. Yeah. Okay, new one. sits out here and polishes and buffs this thing constantly. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's gone to he's in Iowa right now. He's trying to go over to one of them guys that got that American Pickens or whatever that show is yeah. there. Yeah. He's over there shop. I'm kidding. Yeah. Do my mother out riding around. What'd that convertible go for on you was watching on TV the other day, Josh? Which one? He has a convertible. I walked through it. It's up to over a hundred grand on it when I walked through. It was a Roadmaster like this. Oh, convertible Roadmaster. Uh, one hundred twenty-five thousand. So he's gonna send that piece to California, Canada, and have it recrawled. Yeah, yeah. We were watching a, a show on that Velocity Discovery Channel, and they were, it's the show called uh, "What's My Car Worth," and it's people who had a a vehicle in their family for years and somebody's passed on and they want to sell it and get rid of it and move on to something else or somebody who's restoring cars and they just got one too many sure and they had a convertible 57 and um they went over it and and the paint had a few flaws but other than that the car was sound and i think they sold it for 125,000 at auction yeah which uh, which is which was about what he figured he was going to get for it and 